In this video, we'll be looking at the topic of exchange rates. In terms of the syllabus, we're looking at factors affecting the demand for and supply of Australian dollars, and also changes in exchange rates, the appreciation and depreciation. Let's start. Put it very simply, an exchange rate is the price of one country's currency in terms of another. For example, one Aussie dollar will buy 77 US cents. An increase in the value of a country's exchange rate, that is an appreciation, and the flip situation in which the currency goes down, that is known as a depreciation. In general, that we've got factors that affect the demand for the Australian dollar and the supply of the Australian dollar, right? Demand for, supply of. Think about it this way. The demand for the Australian dollar is represented by all those people who wish to buy the Aussie dollar. Now, the supply of the Australian dollar is represented by all the people who wish to sell the Australian dollar. So, demand for Australian dollar, people want to buy it. Supply of Australian dollars, people who want to sell it. Think about it this way. If I want to invest in Australia, I need to buy Australian dollars and sell my foreign currency, which will increase demand for Australian dollars. If I want to save in Australia, as a foreigner, I would need to buy Australian dollars and sell my foreign currency, which would increase the demand for the Australian dollar. If I wanted to buy Australia's exports, well, foreigners would need to buy Australian dollars and sell their foreign currency, which would increase in demand for Australian dollars. So the demand for Australian dollars is represented by all the people who wish to buy Australian dollars. Let's think about the supply side. If it is more attractive to invest overseas compared to Australia, well then investors will sell their Australian dollars and buy foreign currency to invest elsewhere. If investors sell Australian dollars, well that will increase the supply of Australian dollars. If it is more attractive to save overseas, compared to Australia. So if there are high interest rates overseas than there are in Australia, well then savers will sell their Australian dollar and buy foreign currency to save elsewhere, which will increase the supply of Australian dollars. To buy imports, well, Australians will need to sell their Australian dollars and buy the foreign currency of the country that produces imports and that will increase the supply of Australian dollars. So again, the supply of Australian dollars is represented by all the people who wish to sell Australian dollars. So in case it's not clear, if we are talking about people who want to buy the Aussie dollar, then we talk about the demand for the Australian dollar. If we are talking about people who want to sell the Australian dollar, then we are talking about the supply of the Australian dollar. Let's try some examples. So what will happen is I'll take you through the first example, then pause the video, complete the rest of them, and then we'll go through them in the next video. All right, the first event, there is increased demand for Australia's exports. Okay, if there is increased demand for Australia's exports, well then people will want to buy more Australian exports. To buy Australian exports, people will need Australian dollars. So if there is increased demand for Australia's exports, there will be increased demand for Australian dollars, which will lead to a currency appreciation. So let's go through the second one just while we're here, and then you can do the rest yourselves. So speculators who own Australian dollars already expect the Australian dollar will go up even more. Okay, so if they expect the Australian dollar will go up, well, they will want to buy more Australian dollars. So that will be an increase in demand. So buy Australian dollars, increased demand for Australian dollars will lead to an appreciation in the currency. Okay, so from here, complete the rest of the examples and we'll go through them in the next video.